I'm just trying to figure out the way it crashes. You know, is it the money fucks up first? Or is it that businesses just shut down? You know, like, do they have to have a bank holiday? You know, is it like with the Ford and GM, do pe people just, you know, say, hey, we're going to take a temporary shutdown of our plants? You know, is everything just going to shut down and we become North Korea overnight? Mm-hmm. That's what I wonder sometimes. Apparently, they have concentration camps in North Korea. Mm-hmm. People, you know, because there's, I guess it's like they have to ship the people off, you know, who raise cane and shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, if the shit hits the fan, I ain't going to go out there and be in a parade. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm probably going to change my name and, you know, pretend uh, just to be, you know, some retarded citizen. Mm-hmm. You know, just does their work and... Well, I found a nice dirty passage. We could just start anywhere in this next couple pages and just read filth. Should I read? If you can manage to read, but if not, I need to stir this a little bit longer. Okay, I'll read. Where does it start? Okay. Anywhere. It's just in the... Anywhere. It's a huge sex scene. It even goes back a page, I think, but there's a lot of good stuff on there. Juliet, do you wish me to thrash you too? By all means, yes, I answered at once. How can you suspect me of not passionately desiring whatever adds to the sum of your delights? Mm -hmm. Fee, whip away. Here's my ass. Here's <laughs> my body. My whole being is yours to do with as you like. In that case, she said, climb upon the shoulders of the youngest of these tarts and while I flog you, the other three will heed my orders. <laughs> Take up your switches, she went on. Which of you has a stoutest arm? You'll be the last to operate in you, she said, nodding to the most slender of the three. You shall be the first. So listen to me. This is what you are to do. You will kneel facing my ass. You will praise it loudly. <laughs> <laughs> Unreservedly, you'll kiss it, you'll divide my buttocks. <laughs> we'll introduce your tongue far into the hole. While doing so, ooh, I'm getting flushed. <laughs> While doing so, rubbing my clitoris with one finger. This just is one, one, one girl. One. This is one girl. This yeah. is her instructions. While she's, yes. This is just the first one. Mm -hmm. Then you will stand up into the tune of. Threats and invectives, you will bestow 200 strokes upon my ass. <laughs> that With the whip, I think. Wow. Yeah. They must come in swift succession and in steadily mounting force. And you over there, you've heard what I've just said. When this girl is done, you will promptly imitate the performance we begin. Ooh, I think I need to rest. Okay, read I'll read a little more later. That sounds like quite an order. <laughs> so you had to, she had to bend down in front of her, praise her butt. We got four minutes. Say how beautiful it is. Yes. And stick her tongue in there. Lick it. Um, and then thrash her 200 times. Yes. Swiftly. Well, if you want to cut, I mean... I mean, I just need to stir a little bit more. We can come back while I'm putting them in there. All right. All right. That's a good one. <laughs> well, you know, good things come to those who wait. I hear you talking in the other room. It's kind of it's freaking weird. me out. Okay, so um, I've got my candy here. And uh, see how it kind of sticks together? That's what you want. It looks it's not like quite so shiny praline. anymore. Yeah. And it, it'll, it'll kind of pull away from the sides of the pan when it's ready. And it's not so shiny. And that's what you want. And so you're just going to drop this onto here the wax paper, and you can put um, nuts or candies or other things on top if you want to decorate it up. 
but you just want to let these cool off and then um, put them in an airtight container and eat them, you know, for a couple of days. How this is something you want to make together? fresh. Well, it won't stick together. No. If you do it properly and you cook it long enough, it won't. See how it kind of pulls away from the paper already? Yeah. It's wanting to stay together. Mm-hmm. Um, cola Sisters at gmail.com. Mindspace.com slash RC Cola, A R C I E C O L A. Myspace.com slash Shastac, S H A S T A C. Um, Myspace.com slash Camera Cola. You can write to us at P.O. Box 302102, Austin, Texas, 78703. You can uh, send us a voicemail at 512-782-HEAT, H-E-A-T. We're on every Tuesday night at 10 o'clock on Channel 16 here in Austin, Texas. And this has been Cooking Good. And um, oh, we just want to say real quickly, Jennifer Gale, we're so uh, sorry you're gone. Rest in peace. Yes. Why were you sleeping outside? Well, I, I think she was homeless. Oh. Sorry. I voted for her. And she, I talked to her she often. She used to run for the mayor. Mm-hmm. All the time. All the time. So, y'all say a little prayer for Jennifer Gale. And um, have a Merry Christmas in two days. Hopefully, you don't kill your family and end up in jail. That's why I ain't going over to Meemaw's house. I would end up in jail. Or dead. Yeah. Jail in Christmas time is no fun. No, because there's so many people in there. I know. And everybody's down in the dumps. Because it's Christmas, you it's know. It's Christmas and it sucks. And you usually have a wicked hangover, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Because that's the only way you can get through the parties is getting fucked up. Right, right. Or, you know, they don't, not even parties. They're more like. You know, torture just, Well, it's just you, you drink to numb yourself to the pain. That's the that's what it is. Right. It's a medication session, kind of like a therapy session too. That's what I think. It's just say no. Mm -hmm. It's better not to get all like fucked up and take it out on your body. Yeah, take it out on your family or just don't just go. Just don't go. That's our advice. Don't go. Just stay home. Stay home for Christmas. You'll save money, too. That's right. And everyone will feel sorry for you. No, they won't. But at least you'll have a good time. Yeah. And you don't have to put up with them. That's right. And if you didn't get them a good present, so fucking what? Right. Because you don't even have to give it to them if you don't go. That's right. You can...